We love it when Hunky Dory has their luxury card kits, but you know, I really like the smaller kits that have something really interesting or a really different kind of mechanism. Right, and we have four yes. neat ones to show you today. We have babushkas, reveals, rocking horses, and rattles. And not only can they make wonderful cars, but wait till you see what the design team has done. And scrapbookers, we've got something for you too. <laughs> Come play with us. Okay, here are the four kids, and starting from the left, we have the Twit Two Babushka or Reveal cards, <laughs> the Twit Two Babushka cards, the, the Rockabye. Uh, this is a Joy bundles of Joy uh, for boys and girls, and the bundles of Joy little rattles. So we're going to start with the with the owls. Yes. Okay. okay. So so we're going to start get these with this one right into this beautiful Babushka kit with that beautiful artwork. It has uh, actually every single kit will make four different cards mm -hmm. or other projects as we're about to show you and there are instructions so that you get a close-up of the way that they have designed them and that's the idea of the babushka card it's sort of like those Russian dolls yes. that come out smaller and smaller they just keep going and going but what I love are well of course I love the owls but mm -hmm. I love the artwork it's just very fun it and it's very beautiful. colorful and all of these great things that you can layer on top of each other right and then you get the bases of course mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, there you get all four so of them. The front and the back of the base, ah, so there are there hearts on one side. Oh, good to know. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you also get envelopes, so the envelopes to hold them. Right. And let me show you what the very like. first. Right. Here's the first card, and it is following that babushka theme as they go smaller as we go along. Right, and, and then it's on, on that back. piece that's accordion folded, so it's um, pre-scored and ready to go. You just fold it. And as always with Hunky Dory, you've got the foiling. Now, I must confess, we did add some heart dazzles and some jewel dazzles, you know, just a little touch. Just a little bit, but all of that that you see around the eyes, that's all that gold foiling, so you really don't have to add much. It just makes it, gives right. it a little extra extra touch. So very, very fun. Very fun to open and to play with. Very, very simple to make and I yeah. like that on the back it's got that area you can write on the back in those little heart areas. Exactly. And then we thought, well what else can be done? Right. So here we have a little flip book using the exact same kit right. with one one of the sets, right? right? And so this has been, each of them have been, uh, well let me just start opening it first. Right. So we've got the biggest one. And then the next one. Oh, okay. So they're not accordion folded. They've right. been cut apart. Now they've been stacked with flip-flop fasteners. Right. And then let me turn it backwards so you can see the bit of photos as well as the dazzles that have been used for <laughs> every single one. Isn't that cute? Very cute. Very pretty. And then just black cardstock in the back. Right. And this is real easy to make. I started with the base here, which is the background that you're going to stack your um, the card topper pieces on top of and you take a pair of scissors and you just cut this apart So since you've got four of these in there You can make cards with the others if you like and then you can make maybe a book with one of these So you just go through and you cut them apart one by one and I'm going to take these two before I did anything else, I used this as a template to cut that black cardstock piece for the oh, back. To make the large one. Right. right. And then you use flip-flop fasteners to fasten them together if you want to show the package. Sure. Flip-flop fasteners are these. We showed them in a webisode um, earlier, but a little while ago. Mm -hmm. There are 75 in here. They're clear plastic and they kind of look like a butterfly band-aid, mm -hmm. don't they? They do. And you can use them to hold things together. Right, and like they're the adhesive on one side. So I've right. got these two pieces. When I put them together, I want to put one face down, because this is where I'm going to put my artwork for the front of it. I'm mm -hmm. going to foam tape my um, card topper pieces on top of there. Then I'm going to turn that face down, and I'm going to keep this one face up and just put them end to end, like that, right at the bottom at that flat area. And here's my flip-flop fasteners, and I just take one of them, they peel right off, did you use the large one or the small one? I did one? use the large okay. one. Okay. Because I wanted a little bit more stability. You can even put them side by side. You can also put one on the back side if you feel like it needs a little bit more stability, but I thought this worked well enough. I just line up the center right on there, press them in place, and now you have a nice little hinge 
especially if you press down there. And like since that. that's plastic, that hinge is not going to wear out right. and get crumpled like right. cardstock would. And then when I do the next one, I just fold this over, do the next one until you've got a okay. whole book of pages. Now what I love that you added was the matting and you did this with the gold sparkles holographic paper. Now mm -hmm. this is, you know, this is in your face, just <laughs> bright and beautiful. But so look, just a little bit yeah, of it. Yeah, I just love what that does. The other thing that I think is so interesting are the Nature's Touch scrapbooking dazzles. Now these are the larger dazzles. Right. And let me turn it over so you can see all the artwork. There's a lot to choose from on there. And I just thought that they were perfect for adding a little backing. I mean, these are owls. They're kind of woodsy. And you just put them off the edge and then cut them even with the edge. And you've got a little bit of an accent. I even put them on the wings here. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Oh, I just, I just think it adds such a really pretty look. Now, you did it behind the, um, the owls, owls right? but also with behind the photographs and right. some on behind top. Behind and some on top, and just add a little bit of journaling, very simple. And I love how the journaling, like you said, is very simple, but I really like how it peeks out. So there's the mm -hmm. last, oh, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. I love how it peeks out on the front. Who is our family? <laughs> Who is our family? Is our family? Yeah. So very, very fun. And just really a clever way to make use of um, those babushka. Right. So you can make four babushka cards or you can use your imagination and do something else with yeah. it. Yeah, you could also use these. They'd be cute on a scrapbook page going down a border, oh, sure. wouldn't they? Yeah, it'd be okay. great. Now our twit, two twit reveal. Did I say that right? <laughs> twit two, I think. Reveal. You know, I think that must be the English way of, of saying hoo hoo <laughs> like we do oh. in America with the owls. Gotcha. Okay. okay, so that's the sound they, they're making. And here it is. It makes four cards just like the other kit. You've got two elements for each of these cards. It starts off with this piece here that shows you what's in the kit. It also has the instructions on the back for making this great reveal. Do you want to look at this before we look at the card? Sure. Okay, so we've got two pages, we've got two tree, or uh, actually we should have four. Right. Four tree trunks in these different colors, and these beautiful gold, some of them are gold foiling and some of them are silver foiling, oh. with all the elements to make that reveal. And then you've got four sheets which are scored and ready for you to fold. Here's the inside of your card, and here's the outside okay. of your card. So you've got four of those and kind of some different, really whimsical artwork, and and in different colors that match. I thought that's really eclectic. It's got words all through the text, <laughs> through the trees, and some really different. Here's a darker one. That's a great one. And then four very large envelopes that Let's see fit what those they cards. Okay. okay, here is the reveal card. So here it is. You can see all the foiling on the front. And then the reveal is happening as you open it. And there's that little uh, owl on the inside saying, hoo, or twit -hoo. Isn't that great? <laughs> Very cute, it's just absolutely cute charming. <laughs> and uh, you're a hoot is what one of the uh, pre-printed pieces. Right? I love the gold foiling, doesn't it? Just do a really nice it job. It is beautiful. And it might look a little complicated, but it really isn't. I've got the elements here. So I've got that background piece. So you pick out the owl that you want to see. And then you pick out the trunk that you want to go with it. You pop out that center piece so that you can... Oh, it's um, already die cut. Right. It's already die cut, ready to just pop out making sure that I don't rip it at all. There we go. You can save that for some other use. <laughs> and so this is going to be centered right over there. Now in the instructions it says to tape this down first, but I kind of like the idea of getting these in place before I did that. So I went ahead and put ultra tape on the back of these two legs here that are going to cover up that oh, owl in the okay. front. And what I did is um, made sure that first that they're going to cover up and let's see, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, that they're going to open up and you'll be able to see everything about that you want to see in that owl. So you're going to set them about so. Then you're going to go ahead and take off the ultra tape. And the that's scored. Backing. Right, it's scored and ready to go. So I'm just going to sort of center it over that. And then I'm just going to so okay, press now, them down in place. Hmm, now on this one, these are curved back. I noticed so that. That's it's a, a little different. Way. I'm, okay. I'm actually following more with the instructions. The instructions okay. show them sort of going either way. So I'm going to center that on there. And I liked that I could do it this way instead of um, having to fold up these sides and match them up. You can just set it down there. It's flat. And then when it closes, these will fold right on there. And oh, and so then it closes. Up. Right. So, and then this goes on top. Right, then this goes on top. 
I see. So I've got ultra tape on the top. So no need to make it any more tricky than right. it is. Make it's it just as simple as simple. possible. Center it over the card. You want it even at the top and at the bottom. Okay. And then just press that in place. And there's your card. Wow. Pulling. And I left it a little <laughs> bit open in the center. I see that. <laughs> well, and that's what this one is, too. So yeah, there's okay. just a little right. bit to say, okay, then as you open. Ta -da. Ta -da. And it's got also these little, um, what you see here, these are pieces that come with it, the gold oh. accents that you wrap around and just tape right on the edges. Okay, so you get that window. finishing edge. Right. So very nice to have, even though they're all the same reveal card, mm -hmm. you're going to get very different looks. Now, we must confess, we did add some uh, greeting dazzles right down there for the happy birthday, mm -hmm. and a little bit of jewel border dazzles, because we like to do that. And there's a little bit of, there's extra, you can use some ah. of the extra artwork to add a little owl up on the edge there. Kind of let it peek in to the circle. Right. So very cute, very fun, and nice to keep because um, this is going to be a card that could be feminine, could be masculine, sure. and it's tricky to get those masculine cards. It is. So anyway, that's a cute way to do it. I just love yeah. that reveal. It's I just, it looks difficult. You're thinking, it does. And you give it this does. to someone and they're going to say, you made this? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you did? Really? You did? <laughs> the other thing is that how useful this is. I can see this for a teen mm -hmm. as well as I said as masculine. So very fun. Okay, nice to have in your stash now. Okay, Speaking we're going to move on. Speaking of which. Yeah, we're going to move on to something a little different. Right. Now this is the uh, Bundles of Joy. These are called the Rockabye Baby gift set. And uh, let's see, we've got, we want to show how to show these and I'll get the project. Okay, so it starts out with these beautiful rocking horses. There's in pink and it's got both sides. It's going to be a double-sided horse. It's got a sentiment if you want to add it. I love the little tags. There's that gold, that beautiful hunky-dory gold accents around. The little stitching around, it makes it look like it's a stuffed, a stuffed horse. There's one in pink. There is, I think there's one uh -huh, in blue there too. Is. Down on the bottom, there's also these beautiful Rockabye Baby carriages, which have these great fan accents that we'll show you. There's one in, uh, for a boy, one for a girl, and congratulations, and it's a girl. You've got border pieces, all the elements you need to stack the artwork. There's the, the boy rocking horse. It also comes with four of the boxes for sending, so that makes it easy. And again, there are instructions right here to walk you through it, but we'll also do that. And here's the rocking horse, and here it is all put together. As you said, it's double-sided, and um, it will actually rock. So yeah, we'll stand up and whoops. rock. <laughs> you have to be a little gentle. A little more than gentle than I go. was doing. Us, isn't that but great? very sweet. So both in pink and in blue. And in blue. And that's a really simple process. It's got the a front and a back. You can choose which one you want to be front and back. And what you want to do is on one of these, before you put together, you want to score right at the top of the leg. So I just took a scoring tool. And, and a ruler, I set it right at the top of the legs on that horse, and I just scored across, and then... Now you're just doing it on one of the pieces. On one of the okay. pieces. So this is going to be the back now. I'm going to use some uh, double-sided adhesive to just real quickly put this together. And you can use Ultra Tape or whatever you like. Ultra Tape is a real good choice for all of these hunky-dory pieces because it holds it together really nicely but I'm doing it quickly. Then you just line them up. Now I only put the tape, you'll notice, on the top portion. I didn't put any <laughs> on the legs or on the rocker because I have it scored along the top part of those legs. I'm going to be able to lift this up just a little bit. And that gives you that little stand for rocking. And that's enough to let it to stand let it up and rock. Right. Then you can add clever. all of your, you can stack on your pieces with foam tape and right. you can put on your greeting and some jewel dazzles. Now this one has a <laughs> little baby boy along the rocker part, kind of uh, in the artwork, and you can add uh, jewel dazzles if you want to, mm -hmm. although it's quite lovely all by itself. You I think it would be kind of nice to add a little a twine or something with yeah. a string and a label on there. And there are extra pieces, so like the uh, hair and the bridle and the mm -hmm. uh, blanket there, as well as the tail, are all additional pieces. 
uh, both for the front and the back. Right, so. that have been foam taped yeah. on to add just a little bit. It's just a simple little it is. thing that is just so cute and unique. Now the companion are the little carriages or bassinets and this is doing the same thing so right. just want to show you that you can rock it and it will stand <laughs> up and this is the accordion folded one right. we're talking about. So it's the same kind of folding mechanism. You put it together the same as you did for the rocking horse and then it's got, then you score it just enough to where it will open up. But it's also got that accordion piece on top. It pops out like this. It's not pre-scored, so okay. I, it is scored along these tabs, however, though. Those were scored and ready to fold. But along each one of these little, if you can see them, gold-stitched lines on that fan, I went along and scored a line down to this point. So you can sort of see my score marks there. And then you just start um, I have started by folding up on the tab and then you go along and fold on each of those. Just accordion folded. Just accordion folded. And that's just going to give it a lift and a little bit right. of dimension, right? Right. And you do that along the, the entire piece, mountain fold, valley fold, back and forth. And when you're done, you get this great accordion folded piece like you see. And that's going right to go there. right along the top. and. Mm -hmm. You can do something on the inside, although you don't have to. Now, on the one that I have here, there's been a penny taped on the inside. Right, that just for a little extra weight, so that what we found was that if there wasn't a little extra weight on the right side, it tended to roll back a little this, sure. this way. Because that's heavier, it's right. got more paper on it. So it's not completely necessary, but it's kind of a nice touch if you want it yeah. to just sit straight up and down. Good little tip. Now, we've talked about these as cards, but look at what it does on a scrapbook page. Isn't that Just cute? absolutely charming. Just adding that extra bit of dimension mm -hmm. and you could do the accordion folding or not. Whichever right, you choose. Right. I kind of I kind of like it, just adding a little extra. But there's just very little that had to be done here. That piece was set there. And this is actually a label that comes ah. with the kit so that you can set put that on the back of your card, on the inside of your card, or you can put it on your page. And it just does a nice job of finishing a page, as you can see. We did add the silver jewel border dazzles right. along the edges. Now And here, too. I oh, can yeah, see right there. Of it right there, it just sort of ties it in. And again, the ribbon is lifted with foam tape. Now, because the card has got a front side and a back side, mm -hmm. if you were to do this on a scrapbook page, you're going to have the other side uh -huh. left. So you could do a companion page or you could do a simple card right. and let this just be the front of your card. Very nicely right. done. Simple to put together and now you've got extra. So you can get more than four items out of this kit right. by doing something like that. And this is an example had you not accordion folded that bonnet part of the, right. of the cradle. So it is flat here. So it just gives you, you know, it's perfectly fine either sure. way you want to do it. And that's actually the, that's the background piece. Right. So the accordion fold piece is still separate and you could maybe use that extra somewhere oh, okay. else. Okay, so you've got another fan. piece. Oh, yeah. that's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is in our rockabye and we've got another rockabye which this time it's about rattles. <laughs> and I love it when they include these domes. There are four of these domes. They are and, fun to play with. They have yeah. such a unique look and because they include the dome they always have a box with it so that it doesn't get crushed right. in mailing. And again, there are instructions so you've got the blue sheet, the yellow sheet, a moon. pink sheet, and a green sheet. Panda bears on this one. Mm -hmm. And as you said, the boxes, which you simply fold along the score lines and um, bring them together as you right. would any sort of box. But here's what the rattle looks like when it's put together. This is the one with the panda, and they have this uh, pyramid type of paper toll mm -hmm. where it goes from larger to smaller, and the dome does a nice job of holding that. Right, and then you just tape on the dome piece and tape this circular frame on top. It's really simple. I've actually got the oh, okay, pieces good. here if you want to see it I do. In, in brief. So I went ahead, I've got the dome, I've got some of the pieces that you're going to use. Here's the back, which on the back it has this great little um, scored piece that you just pop open and that's the, the little easel for holding right. it in place. So be sure not to tape that down when you tape these together. <laughs> so that would be the back. 
and you would tape the front piece onto there. I'm gonna, but I'm going to set that aside for the moment. So those will be taped together. At this point, you want to go ahead and do your piramage on here. You want to stack those other pieces into the center. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm just going to show you the dome. This is the frame that's going to go around the top. And just be sure that you pop out the center piece, and then you can use that on something else. So that's a nice ah, little piece extra. of artwork that okay. you can use elsewhere. So here is the dome, and the dome is going to be taped right on top of there. Alter tape is by far the best method, but I've had some success with this if I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so for you always are on camera. <laughs> on camera, I'm, on, I'm in a hurry. So you can just tape around the edge of it with this. And it's nice because this kind of turns. You want to make sure it's not inside the dome, though, and I can just fold that over if it gets ah. in the way. So just put some little tape here. I'll just do it in a couple of places so that you can see what I'm showing you here. And if you're, you're using the ultra tape, you use the one quarter inch wide. Right, the quarter um, inch wide ultra tape. It's double sided. And then when you put this on here, you want to try to center it as much as possible. And that frame that I have sitting off to the side, I would also put a little bit of uh, ultra tape or double sided adhesive on there. And then I would just set that right on top of the dome, and there it's sealed. And you have that pyramid, <laughs> pyramid usually on the inside, like right. the card. So you saw that little moon, and mm -hmm. there are the panda bears. Now, if you decided that you, oh, you're going to show I, something I, I'm, else. I just Go ahead. Show okay. Something else that actually <laughs> Christina um, came up with this. Okay. And she said, why don't you put something inside there? It's a rattle. And so I put ah. some little rhinestones in there. So that's kind of cool because it's going to get sealed. You want to make sure it's sealed all right. the way around with that ultra tape. But you can do that. You I can, think glitter would be perfect. Glitter would be great. And then those little those little pieces of paper that come out of die cuts when you're done. <laughs> you could use Sort those. of like confetti. That would be nice in there too. Just now, idea. scrapbookers, if you want to, you can choose to use this artwork to finish off your scrapbook page. And this is Jessica Ann at three months old. Hi, little sweetie. And you can see this is yet one of the other rattles without the dome this right. time, but a flat, and you still have done the pyramid mm -hmm. uh, or pyramage uh, paper toll on the side there. It's just, it's just beautiful. It just creates this beautiful little accent for an already gorgeous photo. Right. And so it's very so. nice for especially 12 by 12 pages because this is a significant size. You can see my hand and it's almost as large. Oh, so yeah. mm -hmm. it creates just a really nice look. So whether you want to do rattles or rocking horses right. or cradles. Baby carriages, right? Cradles or, or you want to reveal owls or if you want to have a, a babushka. babushka. <laughs> uh, Hunky Dory has it all set for you. I do have to tell you that stock is limited to what we have on hand. See you next time. Have fun.